Hey everyone, I'm going to be showing you guys how to format a Mac drive on a Windows 10 machine. Remember to back up everything because we're going to erase everything that's on the hard drive and it most likely will, will become unrecoverable. So again, make sure you back up everything on the hard drive because this procedure will erase everything on there. Just a reminder, this video is for tutorial purposes only and I'm not liable for anything that happens. So this procedure is going to make this hard drive into an NTFS format and it's going to be readable on a Windows machine, Windows 10. In this case, it should be, work on other Windows as well. Um, but this procedure is for Windows 10 specifically. So we're going to follow these instructions. We're going to type them in command prompt that's being ran as an administrator. So right now the hard drive is plugged into this machine, but it's not showing up. C and D are actually two partitions of one hard drive that basically belongs to just the computer itself. The backup hard drive is not showing up, which is a one terabyte. So we're going to go to the search bar and we're going to type in CMD. Then we're going to right click on command prompt and do run as administrator. So click yes and then type in disk part and then type in list disk. Now this is going to show us the disks that are available. Disk 0 belongs to the computer. Disk 1 is the external hard drive. The way I know that is it's 931 gigabytes. The one that's on the computer is 238 gigabytes. So I can't stress this enough. It's very, very, very important to select the correct disk. In my instance, it's disk 1. In your instance, it may be another disk. So one way you could verify this is you could exit this part. You could unplug the drive and then go back here and type in list disk and see which one was missing and then plug it back in and type in list disk again to see which one shows up that way you would know which one it is but again please verify this before you continue it's very 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 important you select the correct disk otherwise other potential issues could arise so the one that's 931 gigabytes which is basically one terabyte that's the one we're gonna select so we're gonna say select disk one Again, back up everything because we're going to erase everything. Now you're going to type clean. Press enter. Now type in list disk. Notice that before it was zero bytes that was free. That means everything was being used in a format that Windows didn't recognize. Now everything is open. Everything is free. So now we have to make a brand new partition. Um, so we're going to go ahead and type in create partition primary and press enter so for a hard drive to work it needs a partition at least and needs at least one you can split it up into multiple partitions but in this case we're just gonna do one partition so type in select partition one and then type in active now we're gonna go ahead and format this in NTFS format so type in format, fs equals ntfs. Now the label can be anything you want. I'm going to call backup drive 2. Um, and you want to type in quick. Unless you want to be here for hours, type quick. Uh, but for backup drive 2, you can call anything you want. Um, so press enter, which will start this process. And now the process is complete. But notice it's not showing up. So at this point in time, if I unplug the hard drive and plugged it back in, it would work. The computer itself was assigned a drive, and that's why I wrote this step as optional. And you can assign it to any letter you want. That's not reserved, so in my case and in many other cases, anything that's letter E and above, E to Z basically. But just for kicks, we're going to type in assign letter F. And this will cause it to show up immediately. So now, now you see 931 gigabytes, which is supposed to be equivalent of one terabyte because they counted it a little differently. But that's like another s topic right there. Now just for kicks, we'll make a test file. So we're going to right click, do new, test document. We're going to call it test. We're going to press enter. We're going to type in 1, 2, 3. Uh, click control S. Um, close that, close that, just reopen it here. Reopen up the test.txt file. You can see one, two, three, and so there you go. We just format this drive. Again, uh, back up everything because this is going to erase everything that was on there.
but this procedure will work um, in other cases as well like as long as the hard drive itself physically works this this procedure should be able to recover it and remember verify you guys have the correct hard drive when selecting a disk because selecting the wrong hard drive could cause many many issues so please verify that and this video was for tutorial purposes only I'm not liable for anything that happens during this procedure so please do this procedure at your own risk uh, and thank you guys for watching